Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going back into the Amazon tool deals. We're going to be discussing the tools that I found for this week that are either going to be on sale, tools that even at their full price or list price I believe to be good deals, or tools that I find interesting and would like your guys' input on if you guys have used them. So first up, we're going to be starting with the SK product. This is going to be one, not this one, but SK is something that I mentioned in the previous Amazon tool deals video. If you guys don't know, SK made a lot of great tools made in the USA back in the past and you know in the last what year or two they sold to the Chinese company Great Star Industrial so for a while we started seeing SK products kind of disappearing off of Amazon and other sites that sell them there are still some things that were in production and some things that they had a stockpile of that were still being sold uh, and as far as I know, some items are still being made in the USA. I could be wrong about that, but there are still items out there available. But a lot of the items are going to be switched to China. And we're finally starting to see some of those roll out and now finally show up on Amazon. So I've just been kind of mentioning them. These are not necessarily tools that I'm recommending you should consider or not consider. It's just something I find interesting and would like to share with you guys. I don't have a whole lot of experience with SK. I do own a few of their tools and, and they've been fantastic. Uh, but I figure mentioning these new tools that are releasing is worth it. Before we looked at a quarter inch drive socket set, today we're looking at the SK combination wrench set. This is the SAE. It's going to be 5 16 to 3 quarters. It's an 11 piece set. This is still called their super chrome finish. The chrome vanadium construction with roll pouch. This is $92.99, so $93. There is a $15 coupon on the quarter inch drive socket set that we went over last week that did have a $100 price tag with a $10 coupon. So you're looking at, you know, mid $70 price range for this uh, wrench set, which isn't terrible. It's still priced roughly the same as many other brands available on Amazon. Obviously, you can find much cheaper sets. You can also find much more expensive sets, but unfortunately these are no longer made in the USA. I can definitely tell on the smaller ones, you're getting a little bit more material here around the heads and there's two things. Companies will either do that to increase strength and maybe just overall engineered design of it. And then some companies, when you get into the cheaper stuff, you start to have more material. It's just more cost effective to not go through all of the machining process. There, there's a couple different reasons for it. So one thing I will say, looking at the reviews, overall, people are happy with the wrenches, disappointed that they are no longer made in the USA. But the main thing being that when looking at the SK that's kind of stamped here in the center, there is quite a few imperfections in the chroming. So that's something I'm going to try and get a look at for you guys so you guys can see that green mark markings for metric and black markings for SAE here you can kind of see it though you can see the imperfections in the chrome around the SK overall I don't think too many people have ha had any bad experiences with them this does have 4.7 stars at 16 ratings here's an image somebody post their lower end offering they are decent quality on par with that of other brands made in China. The stamping on the tools shows the lower care for the finish. The chrome plating is distressed around the SK. So once again, I still think it's going to be a decent quality wrench set, but once again, not the quality that some SK users may be used to. So once again, this isn't something that I'm suggesting you consider purchasing, but I'm also not saying that it's something that you should stay away from either. It's not priced too bad. Next, we're looking at one that I've mentioned multiple times. I just mention it any time I can find a good deal on it. This is the Tekton Quarter Inch Drive 6-point socket set, the 55-piece set. Unfortunately, Tekton tools have gotten, well, all brands' items have gotten more expensive in the last few years, but Tekton's has went up quite a bit. And so a lot of the times, I just don't find myself mentioning them as often as I used to because while they still have quality products, their pricing is starting to get up there so they're just not mentioned as much they're still products that i'm very very happy with um and they are still providing us with some good usa made tools as well uh, it's just finding those deals isn't as easy as it used to be so for this set you're getting 5 30 seconds through 9 16 and 4 through 14 they do have a new version of this set that i believe comes with their usa made bit driver and their 
including a 15 millimeter as well. So just keep that in mind. This is just under $70, list price of $80. I think it normally sells around $75. So a little bit of savings here, not a whole lot. And they do have different size sets as well. So that is something to keep in mind. This does have 4.8 stars at 2,581 ratings. I've had very good experiences with the sockets, good fitment, good chrome. The ratchets I've been happy with. I don't prefer the quick release. I prefer non-quick release, not a big deal. You're going to get two extensions, shallow and deep sockets, a universal joint, a bit driver, and a bit adapter. There you can see that. 11 deep, 11 standard and 13 deep and 13 standard for the metric and SAE. Overall, I think it's a good product, especially for the price. There you can see a couple of the other SK products being sold on Amazon at $80 and $100. You're also going to have those coupons available for that. Next up isn't going to be a tool that I suggest, you know, everybody's gonna need, but it is a very handy tool to have. If you do any sort of, you know, drilling of holes in metal, actually wood, plastic, really anything, having a deburring tool can be very handy. So if you ever drill through a sheet of aluminum or steel, really doesn't matter, you have all those burrs left over. And you know, for the longest time, I'd just try and pull them off with my finger or I just wouldn't care and I'd just leave them on there and demolish them with a screw when I you know, did it that way. Or I'd take a pair of pliers and try and remove any of the large burrs. And then I, you know, many, many years ago, found out about these deburring tools and realized how handy they can be, especially when you're trying to do a nice clean job. Or if it's something that's just going to be an open hole, you're, maybe you're not putting a fastener through it. You don't just want big old burrs hanging off of it. So you actually have a couple different options. This is just the one that I included in today's video. This is $28 down from $35. They have a bigger set and a smaller set where you're just getting the deep burring tool here in the center uh, and some extra blades for it. This is kind of an addition. I think just the deep burring tool here with some extra blades is around maybe $18. And then when you include this, the price goes up obviously and then you can get uh, a smaller version of this reamer over here. There you can see the steel reamer, great for countersinking and deep burring holes in wood, plastic, and metal. 11 sharpened swivel blades and on the race car uh, we use these tools quite often obviously you don't want sharp little metal burrs hanging off of anything so this does have 4.7 stars at 775 ratings I think it's priced very well there are some cheaper options out there so if you're just looking for a very cheap one just to have on hand for every now and then you can get them cheaper I just thought this was a nice size set and a good price for it so here you can see you can just get the deburring tool for $15 and then they have other brands and designs available all priced quite well. Last up on today's list is the gear wrench set. This is the compact head ratchet. This is going to be their 92 design. I think they've had these for three, maybe a little over three years. I know I got mine back in 2020, I believe. This is going to be part number 81253 Tango. This is the 3H drive set, and these are extremely handy just because they're extremely compact. Now, this isn't like a quarter inch drive ratchet with a 3H drive. This is still feeling of like the 3H drive handle. The head is extremely compact though. I have a video on that, so if you guys are interested, you guys can check out that review. This is at just under $66, which isn't a bad price, but I do want to say that I've seen them on sale around the $55 price range. So if you are interested in this, this isn't a bad price, but you may be able to find it a little bit cheaper if you just give it some time and keep an eye on them. This does have 4.8 stars at 20 ratings. You have your stubby and your standard length, but very, very compact heads there. You can see the difference between their standard 90 tooth head design and their compact head design. There are the two ratchets, and they do come in one of those plastic blow molded cases, uh, which has been pretty durable. I just, when I organize my toolbox, I usually figure out where I want the tools and I don't move them. So, as long as you're not like moving these plastic cases around, if you can afford the space, then it's a good organizer. If you're going to be constantly moving it or anything like that, then it may or may not hold up, you know, who knows. But overall, I've had mine for a few years and they've held up very well. They're great for tight spaces. I like that they're 3H drive. 
overall good quality stuff in this set and here's just a little bit of information on it but once again that is it as far as this week's amazon tool deals all of these items will have their own individual link down in the description once again for you guys as well as those two additional links that will take you to a long list of tools that i suggest if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to smash that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time